Hey guys, so today we're going to do a what's in my kit video. Lots of you have been requesting to see what's in my kit. I've mentioned like I'm pulling things out of my kit from time to time, and whenever I do, one of you always asks, I want to know what's in your kit. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to run through everything and kind of teach you what I think should be in a kit. My kit isn't like the holy grail of kits by any means, but it gets the job done. So if you want to see what's in my kit, just keep watching. All right, so this is my kit. Uh, it is one of the old Sephora train cases. They discontinued these, I would say like two and a half years ago. I'm actually looking into getting um, a new one. I was thinking about getting like the Zuka Pro, but the Pro Travel, because the, the Zuka Pro is like big and I don't need that much space, but the Pro Travel is the one that like fits on top of your, um, well, not fits on top of, but fits inside of the carry-on section of an airplane. So it's like smaller and a little bit more compact. And I think that's the one that I'm looking at. But this is what I have at the time being. It does the trick. And I think it's cool because you can lock it. But those locks you could literally pick in like 10 seconds. But yeah, just don't stay around creepy people. So the first section is going to be um, concealers and lipsticks. Um, I have everything in basically every color you could think of. Like everything from nude and it gets all the way down to red. So basically you can kind of figure out what colors those are and maybe if I have enough time I might list all of the lipstick colors down in the description box. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, and then instead of using foundations in my kit, I actually use concealers. I have the Moisture Cover Concealer here. And then I have the Studio Finish Concealer here. So the moisture cover gives you more of a dewy glow, and then this one is going to give you a full coverage matte. And what's nice is you can blend them and mix them to make whatever foundation color that you're really looking for. And that is why I have these. And then I have just a pencil sharpener, whoop, pencil sharpener, some lash scissors, and a square. And this is what I use to, can we focus please? Yeah, square. And this is what I use to charge uh, all of my customers just because uh, people normally don't write checks anymore so it's nice to be able to take credit cards and I feel like it's so much easier that way. Um, and then the next section is going to be, we'll do the back row. So this is my concealer palettes. I don't have the darkest one because I don't have a need for it at the moment where I am at. But I have light, medium, and then medium dark. And what I like about these more than the fact that they're concealers is because these concealers are technically the same ones that are up here, but they have the uh, color correctors in there as well, which I like just because you can use them to like counteract darkness, whatever you need. They have everything, and I use these ones mostly for highlighting and contouring. The next little sections over here are gonna be paint pots. I have everything from painterly, just like a regular old nude, all the way up to, I think this is Rubenesque or Indian wood. Yeah, Indian wood, which is a little bit more of a gold. So just kind of debating on, depending on whatever you need, I have a paint pot for that. I love paint pots. They give you extremely long wear, like hold on your eyeshadow. They blend out easily and you can use them as just like a nice wash of color. Uh, the next two things that are on this row are going to be Black Track, just a nice cream black eyeliner, and then an old package of vanilla pigment, which I seemingly can never get through. Uh, just love vanilla, you can mix it in with things like on the cheek to get a nice cheek highlight or use it as a um, eyeshadow or really anything. And then, let's see, the section on the opposite side, let me just switch this around, are going to be mascaras and trinkets like that. So we have an extreme, no, extended play. Extended play gives you 15 hours of wear. Uh, it's not 100% waterproof. I like how this isn't focusing. So it's gonna give you 15 hours of wear. Uh, it's not 100% waterproof, but it is water resistant, so those, those people that feel like they're going to kind of tear up, this is great for them. Next, I would say Hot and Naughty. Hot and Naughty is great because you have those options of two different wands. Um, I use 
just like toss away wands so you don't get the full effect but at least you kind of have a little bit more of the squeegee on one and then the other one is kind of just more thick. Some clear brow gel just so that you can kind of set people's brows and then a little bit of Dior Show. So just a little bit more volumizing than either of those. Moving on to over here, we're gonna have um, matte cream, which is great for underneath foundation or mattifying a red lip, so it's a hydrated red lip. And then clear gloss, and then a little bit of uh, lip cream, basically a little bit of lip conditioner, hydrating. And then these are the kind of most basic lip gloss colors that I feel like I need all of the time. So I have like a deeper one which you can use over reds. This one is almost like a clear but it's a plush glass so it's going to be plumping. This one, who is this one? Girl boy, girl loves boy, whatever it is. Uh, just a light pink, it's almost like ample pink. And then this one is just like a nude. So just four easy glosses. And what's nice is you can make your own gloss if you have clear and then all the lipsticks. So all of those, and then the internal bits are going to be a little bit more difficult to show you, but uh, inside I have mascara wands and extra lip wands, and then I have just rubbing alcohol in a spritz so I can kind of spritz over all of my makeup to decontaminate them all. And then brush cleaner. This is just the MAC brush cleaner in a little spritzer. And then I have a baby Little Fix Plus and a baby strobe cream or a studio moisture cream. Just kidding, it's not strobe cream. I used to have strobe cream, but studio moisture cream. So this is just going to give you hydration and kind of prep the skin. And then a little bit of cleanse off oil if you need to take off makeup on your model, your customer, whoever it is. If they left their makeup on, you can just take it off with a little bit of cleanse off oil. And then always you need some hand sanitizer. A whole bunch of different lashes. So we have 34s which are huge, very long. 33s, which are amazing for brides. Brides always love 33s. And then 4s, which are round cut, so there's not like a wing to them. And they're all black fibers. Very natural. And then just some outer corner lashes as well. I just have to take these out. And then a couple MAC wipes. These are the 45 pack. I don't use these as often as I could just because they're extremely scratchy to the face and most of the time it irritates the person's skin to the point of just the makeup doesn't look good afterwards. But if you have to get makeup off, these are fantastic. And then inside here we have all of the eyeshadow palettes, which this is one thing that I don't like, is the palettes don't come out vertically this way, so you have to like rotate them, which means you have to take everything out. But hey, you, you can get there, right? So this one is gonna be my sculpting palette. It has all like highlights and then contours. So there's that. And then this one is gonna be neutral. So it has everything from white all the way down to like warm tone browns and golds and everything like that. And then we have this one, which is all my cool tones and grays and blacks and all that fun stuff. And depending on who I'm going to see, depending on where I'm going, I can change out these colors because I have tons more eyeshadow colors in palette form. Uh, I just basically kind of pick and grab depending on who I'm doing and kind of where I'm going to be. And then some of my blushes, this is what I feel like kind of works best for my kit. Just like lighter ones, cooler toned ones. I think this is Harmony or Blunt or something like that, so you can contour or Prism, same, same difference, but you can kind of contour with that one as well. But those are going to be all of the palettes. What else? Uh, I have Q-tips in here, and then all of my face powders. So I have Mineralized Skin Finishes in Dark, I have it in all the way up to Light, like Light. Medium, medium dark, I think that's how it goes. And then Prep and Prime Skin Base, right? 
peppermint cream, yeah, skin base. So this is a cream mattifier. This is fantastic for mattifying people that are more dry, but then get oily, so this will hydrate so that when they kind of get oily, they don't see it at all. Or for using as a primer, it's fantastic. It um, blurs the skin, so in pictures, your skin looks buttery smooth. It's fantastic. And it's also good for prepping the lip if you're going to do something that's a little bit more dramatic. You can put it all over the lip, so when you put the lip pencil on and the lipstick, it all kind of blends and smooths together. The bronzing powder, this one is just in matte bronze. And then blot powder, this one is in dark. They don't have very much pigment to them, but they absorb oil so well. So dark pretty much works on everyone, just because it's such a sheer pigment, it, it doesn't really matter that it's a dark powder. Um, and it's also good for kind of bronzing. If it's like someone that's super, super fair, you can kind of get away with it as like a light, light bronzer. Because sometimes with a regular bronzer, it, they just look gray. So moving on to the other side, we have this little guy. This one has all of my pencils in it. Um, I've seen people, I think it's like Mac Pro Artists, they have their brushes in here and that's all they use for their brushes is they just carry them in uh, one of this little canister. But I have all my pencils in this guy. So I have everything from lip pencils to brow pencils to chromographic pencils. Just anything you would ever need, pencil wise, is in here. And I normally keep my pencil sharpener in here, but it's up there because I used it. Um, but yeah, so I have everything. Everything you could ever imagine pencil-wise would be in the here. And then the last couple things would be eyelash curler and a little bit of duo. And that's seriously everything that I have. It seems like a lot, but it's really not that much for a kit. Okay, other things that I would bring with me to a wedding, sh a photo shoot, something where I was doing makeup, I would bring like tons of paper towels, I would bring, um, stop. <laughs> I would bring uh, tissues, I would bring like a whole bunch of other just little trinkety things that I don't have in my actual makeup kit. I would bring them in my backpack, such as like my brush belt, I would just bring all of those. I would probably bring an extra brush cleaner, stuff like that. And then things that I found that I needed that I don't have in that as well is probably like um, a Tylenol or acetaminophen, or that's basically the same thing. But just because most of the time people that are getting married or stressed or something that have headaches and they can't find things like that, so I always bring um, a little travel size of like Aleve or Tylenol or something. Um, what else? Tide to go, a tide to go pen is fantastic because you never know when you drop makeup or something on someone's shirt or dress or something. Those tied to go pets are fantastic and they get things out like no one's business. Um, but also, not saying that you would or if you did, but also a tied to go pen is great for people that are drinking before you do their makeup and they spill. It's fantastic. It gets everything out and it saves, saves the, the day, basically. Um, what other things have I figured that I needed? Whenever you do have a customer, really make sure that you know how many people they're wanting you to do makeup for because most of the time whenever I get to a wedding I'm doing supposedly three people's makeup and then it ends up being four or five which is fine because you always charge them more whatever you're doing but it's always nice to have extras of things that you might need like extra lashes because whenever you're doing lashes on someone then of course their mom or their sister's like mm, maybe I should get lashes so it's always good to have extras of whatever you're planning for your event um, but yeah, that is kind of everything that I have for you today. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful. It was fun to get to kind of go through everything with you guys. If you have any questions about other things that I, you need to bring or what you should pack for a kit, just let me know, ask me in the comments below, and I will talk to all of you soon, and yeah, have a good day. Bye.